Hi. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to try and create a button that while, that will appear whilst the slideshow slide is playing. And the point of the button is to, to allow you to, to go to a particular website, maybe to listen to the song. Okay? So I've done one earlier. I'll just like this little button here. And what does it do if I run this? Control, test, and movie. You'll see that when I click it, it's playing. And if you listen to the music, when I click it, it takes you to Netflix at the moment, but it should actually take you to wherever you want to listen to the music. Okay, so what we're going to do is do something similar. So let's get started. Right, you've, from the previous lesson, you've created your slideshow, you've added your music, one, two, three bits of music, and now you want to add a button that will take you to perhaps YouTube or something like that to listen to a song. So this is what we're going to do now. Um, let's actually establish a, a, a site. So Orange, yeah, let's go to Orange Free Sounds. Okay, yeah. Okay, so the last layer, click on your last layer and add a new layer. On this layer, this is where your button is going to appear. Click the first frame in the layer and center your stage. It's just easier. Just say stage is centered, and you do that by clicking here. You're going to draw a button. Click the rectangle tool and make sure you choose your colors. I want an outline of, of um, black and a fill of black. I'm feeling black, black today. Okay, so draw your button or draw this rectangle that's going to hold your button. Then select the text tool. It's going to be color red in my instance, um, font 24, letter spacing, fine. Right, and type in your text. Uh, listen to the track, okay? Or listen to album, let's say listen to album. Okay, right, select your selection tool and pull that text into to a nice kind of alignment with the button. You might even want to free transform it and make it slightly smaller. Right, once you're satisfied, uh, select the two. So draw a box around it and select both. And the next thing is to convert, modify it and convert the whole thing to a symbol. So the kind of symbol we want is a button, not a movie clip this time. So BTN, this is going to be a BTN album, I'll call it album or listen. This is a button to listen and you click OK. So your button is here, all the features that can go with it are here. So next thing is give it a, a name. So this is uh, CIM Bowl Listen. So basically this button is about listening. It's a symbol and it's, that's the way it's identified. So once you've given it a name, click on the button again, don't lose sight of the button, there it is. The next thing is to add an action. Now, the action is usually usually has to be coded, but what comes with Flash right now are some predefined snippets of code that help you get there quicker. So what we're going to do is look for that code. So make sure you've selected your button, and if you go to ins uh, now, give me a second. Oh yes, window. Go down to code snippets. Now in here, they've basically pre-written codes that they figured people would be using very often and to help you get started a bit more quickly. So if you go into action script, I'm looking for an action. So my action is when they click, we want to go to a web page, which is the very first one. So it must be used very often. So if you double click on it, it opens and it recognizes this because it's going to refer to the fact that it's going to be referencing our button, which is below, I hope. So you d must make sure you're on the right thing. So make sure your button is selected and it's still listening. Yep, action. Right, close this again. Just before you click, double click the snippet, make sure you are your button is selected and you are on the first frame. Go click on it, double click on the action you're interested in, it opens up. Click, go to web page, blah, de, blah, de, blah, and all it says here is all you have to do to get this to work for your particular button is simply put in a relevant URL. So here, what I want it to do is to go to um, Orange Sounds, which is a, a, a free, orangefreesounds.com. Me, I prefer to copy this 
so I don't get it wrong. Command copy and then minimize that and then back to my action script. Where's my window gone? Okay, there it is. So all I need to do is replace this. Command paste. Make sure you have the HTTP, otherwise it may not work. So I wanted to open that up so that people can listen. Once I've put in that code, close that, close that, save this, and let's have a let's have let's have a, let's have a look. Click Control, test my movie in Flash Professional. Fingers crossed. There it goes. Display. Now I'm going to click. And voila. Now you might think I had it open before, so let me take this to a different page. Right. Let's try again. Let's see if it still works. When I click it, voila, it works perfectly. 